We have a new poll that finds almost two thirds of Republicans, even if they like Trump policy, they don't want him to be the nominee in 2024. There are increasingly analyses that say Trump won't even make it to the first primaries. Is what do you think? I, I'd say I'd say two things, David. He's the king of this party. He right now remains the cult leader. My former party is a cult. So do not write him off at all. Uh, but what I will say is this, I, I'm in a weird spot, right? Because I come from the mega cult. I still engage with the mega cult every day. And I will say two things about Republican base voters that I talk to every day. They all want Trumpism. They all want that. Uh, and we all know what that is. And increasingly, they're concerned and worried that maybe Trump is no longer the voice of that. Not here's the important point, David, that, you know, not because they think there's anything wrong with Trump. They just don't think he can win. Uh, so will this be permanent? I don't know. And, and I don't. The other thing I'd say, David, is who's going to slay the king? Who's going to slay him? Well, I mean, it's it is interesting that DeSantis, without having even announced in some polls, is easily beating a former president of the United States, that it's a signal that maybe DeSantis can do it. But, you know, when I think about imagine DeSantis says I'm running and a national campaign starts, I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, can DeSantis actually handle that? I'm not sure. I know DeSantis. Uh, I know him pretty well uh, in, in the pre-Trump days. Um, look, he's got zero charisma. He's not good on his feet. Yeah, uh, he's very thin skinned. And most Republicans around the country really don't know who he is. He is a marker right now. He's a default spot for all these Trump voters who want Trumpism and they don't know where else to go. I tend to believe that once he's under a national spotlight, I don't think he'll do well. Mm, yeah. And, and I've read a number of pieces that say brilliant guy, uh, much more competent than Trump, but sort of like constitutionally, he may not really have what it takes to actually face the, the national campaign with the nicknames and the debt. But but at the same time, it is a different Trump. I mean, if you just look at uh, tr Trump's something, I don't know what's going on with Trump. But when you look at video from six years ago, from from 2015, 2016, his facility with language and the insults and the quips and whatever, he does seem diminished at this point to some degree. Would you agree? Uh, I don't know. But huh. what I do what I do know, David, is uh, where's he been? I, I get that he had to announce a month ago because if he didn't announce, he'd look like, you know, a, a loser. So he had to come out yeah. thinking that the midterms would be a big victory for him. But I got to tell you something, David. Every single day I hear Republican voters tell me every day, hey, Joe, shut up. Twitter did steal the 2020 election. I told you it was rigged. Now, this is a huge issue, an animating issue for Republican voters. It's a, it's a layup for Trump. And I don't know why Donald Trump has not been more active. I don't know why he's not on Twitter. I don't know why he's not holding a rally somewhere right now screaming that Twitter stole the 2020 election. Yeah. It, it's it's strange. Uh, a report. I don't remember if it was Vanity Fair or which one that Trump has barely left his house since making the announcement. He did an interview with OAN yesterday where he's mentioning, I guess, some rallies that maybe are planned. But it's it's I, I don't know how much momentum is going to be behind those at this point. 